we will understand what are perpendiculars and perpendicular bisectors and some methods used to construct them. First, we will understand what a perpendicular is. When two lines such as M and N intersect each other such that the angles formed between them are right angles or 90 degree angles, then they are said to be perpendicular to each other. We show it using symbols either this way or this way. Now see here, line N is perpendicular to line M, but this line is dividing M into two equal parts. That is, the perpendicular line N passes through the midpoint of the line M. We can say that the line N is the perpendicular bisector of the line M. For example, here we have a rectangular paper. Fold it down the middle lengthwise and make a crease. Let line AB be the crease of the paper. Fold the paper once again down the middle in the other direction and make a crease. Suppose we mark this crease PQ. As you can see, the two line segments are mutually perpendicular. Also, they pass through each other's midpoint. Therefore, line segment AB is perpendicular bisector of line segment PQ. Similarly, line segment PQ is the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. Let us understand some interesting methods to construct a perpendicular passing through a point on a given line. Here, we have a paper on which a line M is drawn. We have to draw a perpendicular line which passes through point P on this line. For this, we will fold the paper in such a way that the crease passes through point P and one part of line M overlaps the other part completely. Once we open the paper, we will observe that the crease passes through P and it is perpendicular to line M, which means we have drawn a perpendicular passing through the point on the given line. Can we draw a perpendicular through a point on the given line using a ruler and a set square? Think for a while. Let me explain. The method is as follows. Step 1. A line M and a point P are given. Note that P is on the line M. Step 2. Place a ruler with one of its edges along M. Hold this firmly. Step 3. Place a set square with one of its edges along the already aligned edge of the ruler such that the right angle corner is in contact with the ruler. Step 4. Slide the set square along the edge of the ruler until its right angled corner coincides with P. Step 5. Hold the set square firmly in this position. Draw PQ along the edge of the set square. The line segment PQ is perpendicular to the line M which we can show as this. We can increase the perpendicular with the help of a ruler. Today, we learned what are perpendicular and perpendicular bisectors and some methods used to construct them. In the next video, we will learn how to draw a perpendicular and perpendicular bisectors using a ruler and a compass.